New information tonight on a man accused of shooting at Chesapeake police, leading local and state officers on a, on a long manhunt. New court documents reveal how cell phone pings played a part in the search for Jamel McSwain. They also describe how he didn't act alone. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves is in the studio with more. Yeah, this search for him spanned multiple cities, so we ended up piecing together paperwork, finding out another person was also arrested in this investigation. A common theme, though, why while McSwain was on the run, contact with women. You might remember this scene in Portsmouth April 3rd, a shot up Chesapeake police car. Jamel McSwain wanted after police say he led them on a chase to this mobile home park off Victory Boulevard. The search for him lasted for days and now documents say he didn't work alone. Court paperwork says during the chase he called the mother of his child. She told police he said he loved the baby and didn't know how this would end. The chase ended here, but that's when police say he shot and ran off. April 5th, SWAT raided the home of his baby's mother after an anonymous tip. He wasn't found, though, but paperwork says police did get his number. A cell phone ping led them to this apartment complex in Chesapeake off Leinster Street. Police say they actually saw McSwain here, lost him, but a woman admitted to having him in her apartment. She told police he mentioned going out in a blaze of glory. A day later, documents say police arrested another woman, Capron Smith. She is accused of accessory after the fact. Police say the day of the shooting, they actually told her McSwain was wanted. Still, paperwork says she drove him across city lines, helping him escape. After more than a week, April 14th, McSwain was arrested in Norfolk on an outstanding warrant. Today, we asked the mother of McSwain's child if she at least knows Smith. She said she has no idea who she is. Now, those search warrants were executed under an, an attempted capital murder charge. As far as we know, though, McSwain is not charged with that just yet. He's jailed in Chesapeake under a probation violation. Now, he refused to talk to us when we asked for his side. Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.